just for today. Just briefly looking, I see snowflakes. Uh, west wind around 14 miles per hour, high near 30. So we're not gonna, it's gonna be cold. Uh, we also have a we're fishing a river that's recently uh, peaked from a fairly significant rain event. Um, here's the here's the predictor, and uh, it's high. I mean, it's up there. So we're going to be fishing some high, muddy, cold water today. 28 degrees right now, and our high today is going to be 30. The game plan is, guys, we're going to throw our, throw this cataract into some of the very few eddies that we're going to find here today. Mike, you're going to, you have a front anchor up there, a mushroom anchor. Check. And that's something that keeps the, the front of the cataract from swinging back and forth. Anytime you're winter fishing, you gotta get stationary. If, you, if the boat you're in is swinging all around, you know, you're, you're not gonna feel the bite. Two things that I'm starting with today, both feature a fine wire hook. This is a strap jig. This is the lure I've caught my coldest river smallmouth ever 32.4 degrees I caught something with this little rig here um, you can find the directions for making this if you if you do a search for strap jig on YouTube but it's a, a hair jig that I've tied with a little octopus hook a number four and uh, basically they grab that and as soon as they start moving it's real sticky you're you know you've got them the other is the little tube here and uh, this one I've rigged with a little, I've shoved a little glass rattle up in there. You know, the strap jig also has the glass rattle and I think that's important to, to talk to them in this muddy water. They, they need to hear it uh, to find it. But both of them feature this fine wire hook, this really sticky hook. And um, that's important because they'll, they'll grab it and most of the year you can feel it when they, they pick it up. You'll feel that tick. Well, you're probably not going to feel that today in, in this, you know, probably mid-30 mid degree water. Um, you want something that as soon as they grab it, it's, it's, they're going to start moving with it. As soon as they move at all, that little thin hook goes right in them. Just looking at this here, and as we're floating down, if it was springtime right now with high water conditions, you could just imagine all these places that you want to throw a spinnerbait in. Right there, <laughs> zooming on that. Hitting all them tree limbs and stuff like that. The small ways of being there and just ripping apart a spinnerbait. Being out here with this high water gives us a unique opportunity to see the places that they're gonna take refuge when it is high. Um, and it's gonna look different now than it will um, a week from now when it comes down four or five feet. So. One of the things that I wanted to do that, that I set out as a goal for today was to, to mark some waypoints with the GPS here. All right, possible winter hole. And then uh, we'll go back to where we are. And that way when I come back to it, I'll see it as possible winter hole one as I'm drifting up on it. You know, if we've got the, the bridge as a landmark and there'd be no trouble finding this spot again but there's going to be a bunch of places today where one part of the bank is going to look the same as the next one and you know having a waypoint to come back to at lower flow is really going to be an asset <laughs> 